Hello Britball Nation and welcome to the Power Rankings following week 8 of the Baffert Adult National Leagues. Before we crack on with the rankings themselves, remember that you too can contribute to the growth of the game by liking and sharing these videos, submitting highlights of big plays from the weekend, or help DC become sustainable by heading to gofundme.com slash DBL coverage. We want to keep bringing you 7 days a week of all things Britball, but the reality is without the community support, we're counting down the weeks before we have to scale things back. All that said, let's jump into the rankings. The Senators stay put at 10. We want to see them return to their early season form in week 9 when they face the Sentinels before we start shifting them up the rankings again. Nine. Glasgow hold firm in the number 9 spot following a bye week. We don't see them again until week 10 but the rookie Dumfries Hunters did them a favour on Sunday by snatching a win away from the Blackhawks meaning the Tigers place atop the NFC 2 North looks even more secure. Eight. Berkshire slide a little as we haven't seen them since week 6. They've got Pompey coming up on the schedule on Sunday and they'll be looking to repeat their comfortable week 5 win to keep their place in the rankings. Seven. The Romans handled the Spartans without too many problems on Sunday which points towards them gaining ground on the Revolution sat atop their conference. Still, for now they have a pair of bye weeks coming up so we'll need results to go their way to keep their place in the rankings. Six. Stallions take a tumble through inactivity and as others climb. We finally get to see them again in week 9 against a steadily improving London Blitz B team, so it'll be interesting to see if the Stallions have maintained form through their multiple bye weeks. Five. The Bobcats continue to climb following convincing victory with convincing victory. Their offense has really begun to find its groove, it's just a pity that they haven't had any opportunity to test themselves against tougher opponents, else they'd likely be even higher up the rankings. Four. First loss of the year for the Sharks, but boy did it sound like a hell of a clash down in Yuki at the weekend. The Apache took an early lead only for the Sharks to fight their way back into the game and hold a narrow edge over their rivals into the fourth quarter. It wasn't to be however with the Bristol side taking the go ahead score and pole position in what is looking like it's going to be a hotly contested top spot in the SFC2 West. Three. We asked the Revs for more offence and boy did they step up and provide it, dumping 62 points on the humble Warhawks and moving themselves to 5-0 atop the NFC2 South. They face the Bombers in week 9 and will continue building momentum before they hit a couple of bye weeks. Two. The Apache moved clear ahead in the West following a narrow win over the Sharks at the weekend. The crucial away win will give them confidence going into their bye week but they'll need to train hard in what time they have as next up for them is the Sharks once again visiting Bristol in week 10. It's worth noting that the Sharks bested the Bristol side in Bristol last season so expectations are that the second leg of this rivalry should be just as hard fought as the first. One. And the Cheetahs of course stay top until we have a reason to shift them. They've seen 5 weekends without a fixture by the time they're in action again in week 10, here's hoping no rust has set in in Hertfordshire. And there you have it Nation, the rankings for week 8 of the Baffer National Leagues. As always we're really trying to start a conversation with these videos so if you think we're not giving the team the credit they're due, tell us about it. Give this video a like if you like it, a share on Facebook or a retweet on Twitter as it only takes seconds but it really helps us out in spreading Britball to the widest possible audience. The scoop is on its way for week 8 but with some of the recent events we've had to add some extra bits in. And in the meantime of course as always, play hard, play safe and make sure you check out details of the Jaguars Academy coaches for this year's camp shared on our YouTube channel. It's a pretty impressive roster.